Hey, hi, hello, it's Yuseto. I'm coming at you with a video. It's long overdue, but here it is anyways. Um, this is a video on synchronicity and understanding what synchronicity is. And understanding how to move forward, I guess. People freak out about synchronicity. If, if you want to know what synchronicity is, I think it's I think it's a very meaningful experience of multiple aspects of reality lining up to create an emotion, create a sense of reflection inside of you. And Multiple people can experience the synchronicity at once. It's not just very subjective, but it's very meaningful to the observer. And the observer has to be very present with reality in order to understand what's even going on and to experience a synchronicity. A synchronicity is like... I can make it basic and make it so that everybody has understood what a synchronicity is because everybody has it's like having a moment in in your day where something you see reminds you of a dream and you would have never thought of that dream unless you would have seen that thing or experienced that in your day so it like aligned and coalesced and it, it finally like showed itself that's what a synchronicity is. A synchronicity is what people say coincidence. They could write it off as coincidence. And I don't think a synchronicity is necessarily a coincidence because a synchronicity can align in more than just two aspects. It's not just two things happening at the same time, which a coincidence is basic by definition coincidence like two things happening at the same time and people say coincidences are random but it's th that that's not what the definition of coincidence means it just means two things happening at the same time that there's multiple things happening at the same time a synchronicity is not just two things it could be things beyond your even imagination like it's all to the observer it can it can be the perfect temperature it can be the perfect humidity it can be the perfect lighting it can be the perfect time of day the bird that's playing it could be anything there's infinite aspects for a synchronicity to happen for somebody People, I would say, in a way, it's like deja vu, but it's it's not. Deja vu is is slightly different, and I can make a video on that. But a synchronicity is is like when you see one 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 on a license plate, and you weren't looking for license plates, but like your eyes were just drawn to it at that time, or you see one eleven you see any time my number in particular that sh started showing for me in synchronicities my mother was seeing 111 a whole bunch and I was like she is weird and until I started seeing a number and I just didn't understand and I had to look into it and I could make many videos on it because there is so much information number 137, 137, and that number started showing up in the most peculiar places at the oddest times and flashes, like in, in moments of time where I, if I tried to get somebody's attention and show it to them, they would never be able to see it because we would never be able to repeat the same thing. 
very specific thing to you. And it's it's very specific to the, to a person who is paying attention to reality and to the way that they respond to everything. Like always be always have a mirror in front of you. Always be attentive of yourself with everything that you're doing and it's impossible to do it but the more you do it the more you realize you have control of these things that you thought you never had control of over yourself and how you respond and how you react and your emotions and to me when you see these synchronicities it means you're in a state of flow you're doing the right thing for you and to keep on keeping on and not get lost in the highs or the lows but to always remain calm and I believe the whole experience of life can truly become a synchronicity can become one synchronicitous moment experienced to the like to the fullest and I'm I'm believing that we are always there but we are not aware of it it's very difficult to explain but it's like if you see a pattern and you show it to somebody they see different parts of the pattern collectively than you see. You guys see different things even though you're looking at the same object. It's objective reality but you see subjectively what you see. If you can see more you can't make the other person see more but you see more and I don't know how to make prove it to you that like I see more But it's possible for anybody. And that's basically what a synchronicity is. Is you see the bigger picture of reality. You see how things are lining up. You don't think that things are just disconnected. Like, you're constantly defining your world around you. This world is coming at you, but you define it you have an experience towards everything and if you think you're a subject, if you think you're a victim to everything, if, if you're traumatized by certain objects that have nor, not a good nor bad connotation behind them, you let that rule you, then you don't have control of the way that you feel. Things have control over you. Inanimate things at, at that. And Basically, just relinquishing all of that and redefining everything in an objective sense is freeing and you control yourself and you live in a synchronous moment all the time. And you strive closer and closer to living in the now, in the present, and that's what it's trying to do. When you see 333, you don't freak out. You don't you don't go, why did I see that? And take a second. You can question yourself, but don't get lost in it. Just know that you were supposed to see that. It was meant for you. The more calm you can be, the more assured you are in reality. The more assured you are in time and space. It's like pulling your attention. It's pulling you there. It wants you to see it. It wants you to see more. All you have to do is respond, listen, feel, feel.
heal as deeply as you can. Maybe it's time to just, like, once you see that number, just feel anything, anything that you can. There's gonna be thoughts, but feel your body move in the micro sensations of like moving your shoulders back or trying to listen or trying to focus on a very far away object and just feel the moment but be present and don't doubt it and I guarantee that like more synchronicities are going to happen for you and you might just go into a certain tuning and just go into that frequency of infinite synchronicity because I truly believe it's out there because I've experienced it for for spurts of life and yeah I just want to help people understand synchronicity so if you have any other questions about this or a topic that I could talk about in the future that would be helpful and I hope that helped I hope that helps some people understand what synchronicity is or if you're experiencing it what to do thank you and subscribe